Hi everyone, Megan the Crafty Quinn here. I'm so excited to show you some Christmas gnome ideas that are easy to make and too cute not to make. I'd also like to thank our sponsor for this video, Hippo, for supplying me with their new cordless hot glue gun for the crafts in today's video. Without further ado, let's get started. So I, as you can see here, I'm using some witch's hats and I saved these from Dollar Tree and these are perfect to put some scrapbook paper on and you see I have some ghosts as well. I also stock them, stockpiled them from Halloween this season. So those are always great to have from Dollar Tree. Always grab them when you can. So I am about to take my new hot glue gun and use this with a wooden half bead. And that goes on the face of the ghost. And we're going to convert this into a gnome. So there's definitely a couple ways you can do this. And one of the ways I tried out doing this first laying down the nose first and then seeing if you can easily lay kind of like the the hair of the beard or <laughs> for the gnome around the nose that was definitely one method and as you can see here so with my hot glue gun when you have the light on that means it is ready to be used it is it is hot and ready to go <laughs> so what was great about this glue gun is it actually came with the frink with the finger protector that i'm wearing right there and so that really came in handy because I always burn myself. <laughs> so definitely came in handy. So once I had all my scrap of paper cut out, I traced it and everything. So I had about three to work with and I wanted to try out a couple different styles, a couple different like beard colors. I have gray and white. So I used some, just a glue stick to put the scrap of paper onto the wooden hats. And after I laid the scrapbook paper using the just glue stick on these wooden hats, I did lay something heavy on top of them just for a few minutes, just to make sure that they would really stay. And that, that seems to be the best, the best way to, to really keep the, the Elmer's glue sticking to the scrapbook paper there. So I am doubling up this Dollar Tree yarn. This Dollar Tree yarn, it is so like, like furry and fluffy. I couldn't believe this was something that was now being sold at Dollar Tree, but I doubled it up like a bunch of times and I put it all on like just four fingers doubled up and that was really the best way that I could kind of form a beard for these gnomes. I haven't seen anyone else do it this way but this is kind of my own trick and I've seen a lot of folks use the the ghosts as their kind of like base for like gnome ornaments and things like that all over Pinterest. I have no idea where this idea originated, but whoever started it is obviously a genius because these ghosts make a very good template for some gnome beards. <laughs> so I have my gnome beard all doubled up and then I kind of like cut the loops that basically are created once you lay down that doubled up ribbon. So you're going to want to cut open all of those loops and then just start trimming away the beard until you can get it to your liking. And these come out looking so messy, but I love that about these gnome beards because it also, the, the yarn itself almost looks like there's like mini braids inside of each gnome's beard. So I absolutely love that and this gnome comes out really fun. But the only problem is that when you lay down the half bead like this, it definitely gets hidden by the hair right away. And then you kind of have a gap there between the hat and you know, where the, the beard starts and ends. So I had to go back, lay down a bit more hair on top of the nose. And that was the only way to get rid of that gap where you could see the wood piece coming through. So definitely, you know, I tried out this method, does not work. I recommend just going through and, and you know, doing all of your the beard fur first and then laying your beat, your half wood bead on top of all of that and that way it won't get buried so much and you don't have to worry about going back and fixing it again. And then I thought, you know what? Let's make it even cuter and put a little kind of like cotton ball like thing, pom pom, on the end of the hat. And it really gives it that winter look. Absolutely love this cordless hot glue gun. It is magnetic, as you can tell. It's easy to just kind of stick it back at the base and then just keep going on your projects. <laughs> And what was also great about this, because I never would remember to turn off my, my plug-in hot glue gun, this has automatic shut off after a few minutes. So that has really, really come in handy for someone who is forgetful like me. <laughs> 
So that has been great. I have a link for this glue gun down in my description box, so definitely check it out. And it also came with a carrying case, so you can charge it, it has a USB charger, so it came with a silicone circle mat for drips, finger protectors, the charger, and a carrying case. So I'm just adding a little hook here, and we are going to turn these into ornaments. And by the way, this Haklu gun was like so lightweight, like really, really also came in. It doesn't look like it is, but really barely weighs anything, so that also makes it so great. So these are ready. So you can hang these on a full-size tree, but I thought, you know what, how fun to put it on these like miniature flock trees that I got from Target. I get them, you know, I get a couple from Target every year or so, I'm stockpiling a bunch, but I thought putting them on there would be really, really fun. So that is with the gray beard, and then I wanted to do another gnome, but with the white beard. So this is also this, this like really furry, fluffy yarn from Dollar Tree, and I, of course I had to grab one of each. As soon as I saw the gray and the white, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is going to be perfect for some gnomes. And this is also scrapbook paper from Hobby Lobby. I kind of placed this hat on a bit of an angle to make it more fun, but definitely the same method for this one. I had Eddie give his stamp of approval on the hat, of course. He was obsessed with these crafts. And also when I laid the ornaments on the trees, <laughs> he kept rubbing his face against the flock trees. <laughs> and of course he, oh my gosh, Eddie, <laughs> like I say, like I always say, he is chaos in a furball. He just runs straight towards danger. I don't know what it is with this cat. My other cat is so good and so <laughs> well behaved compared to this little guy. He is still learning his way in the world. <laughs> but he keeps it interesting. So I'm just putting the ornament on the back of this one as well, and we are all set. So here's the other one. I think this one's actually my favorite. I'm actually using a slightly larger half wood bead on this, and I can link to those half beads below in my description box. And thank you guys so much for watching. This is the midway point through the video. This is a quick reminder to please subscribe if you're digging the content, if you like the craft so far, please make sure to subscribe. Check me out on Instagram as well. And I have a website, thecraftyquin.com. Make sure to check that out as well. I have a blog there. So this is a different kind of gnome completely. This is a miniature like gnome stand that I got from Dollar Tree a while ago. And I never knew what I never knew what to do with this, but I, I knew I wanted to make a, a gnome video of some sort. So I decided, you know what? Let's go with this little guy. So I'm just tracing the hat on my favorite scrapbook, pa scrapbook piece of paper. <laughs> Can't talk today, guys, from today's video. Really love this green color. I love the, the plaid on this piece of scrapbook paper. So just did a quick trace using the back of this, of this gnome hat. And so I just also took a glue stick on this one as well. And you may have seen me kind of chipping away at the, at the star at the very top of the hat when, the, when this craft first started. And that was definitely a challenge. I used my uh, scraper tool to kind of lift as much as I could of that star off. I couldn't get it like completely off of there. So it's not really noticeable. The scrap of paper is on top of it. It kind of covers it up nice because it is really, really hard to get the stars off of that or like just, you know, the pieces that stick out more. So this one, I had to make the beard, a, you know, much longer, obviously, compared to the ornaments that I just did. So I just kind of stretched out my fingers. I still used my four fingers to separate this yarn out, but I just had to kind of stretch out my fingers and kind of measure it against how big the beard was on this gnome. So definitely still the four fingers, but just kind of stretched out and made a bit of a longer beard doubled up. So I decided to kind of start in the middle of this guy's beard and just kind of have it kind of fan out from there. But I decided, you know what, let's just place everything in the middle. And then if it's not enough, I will just go back and I will just add more. So this glue gun had a really long runtime. 
so it did hold me up hold me over for a while until I finally did need to recharge so that's what you just saw it is telling me it just when it blinks like that that means hey you know you've used me up please recharge me <laughs> so that's what that means and it doesn't take very long to charge it either I would say maybe it needs like an hour, hour and a half charging time, and that's about it. So I went back and I added more, I doubled up more yarn, <laughs> and then I kind of placed it accordingly on either side, and now I'm just trimming this guy's beard because it, he needs a shave. <laughs> Definitely the string is very, you know, challenging to cut, so make sure you have some very sharp and tight scissors for this one because, like I said, the yarn is not easy because the yarn is, it's hard to cut the string itself, but also just the fuzzy fabric part can be a challenge. So just take as much off of here as you want. I, I Like I said before, I really love that this beard kind of looks like it has miniature braids throughout throughout yeah the beard <laughs> so I was kind of getting rid of any pieces that were sticking out at the top because this bead is gonna go on top and make the nose kind of lay it flat and make sure that this would stand out it's kind of hard because the, the hat was not in the front, it was behind the beard, just because of the way this gnome was created as a wood piece. So definitely just, you know, do your best and make sure the gnome is the way you like it. Just adding the finishing touch of pom-pom to this hat as well. And <laughs> it went flying out of my hand. And here is the end result of this little guy. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was such a fun video to make. I've been wanting to make some gnomes for a while, so I really hope you enjoyed this. If you want to check out more videos, watch them here on the left, and go check out the link to that cordless glue gun. I have it down below in the description of this video. Have a great weekend, you guys.